Pharmaceutical was a U.S. corporation concerned initially with rubber and related chemicals, and later with rocket and missile propulsion systems. Its name is a portmanteau of the Greek words for sulfur and glue, an allusion to the company's initial product, Thecol Polymer. The Thecol Chemical Company was founded in 1929. Its initial business was a range of synthetic rubber and polymer sealants, and Thecol was a major supplier of liquid polymer sealants during World War II. When scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory discovered that Thecol's polymers made ideal binders for solid rocket fuels, Thecol moved into the new field, opening laboratories at Ilkton, Maryland, and later production facilities at Ilkton and at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville produced the XM-33 Polux, TX-18 Falcon, and TX-135 Nike's use systems. It closed in 1996. In the mid-1950s the company bought extensive lands in Utah for its rocket test range, and in 1986 was found at fault for the destruction of the Space Shuttle Challenger and the deaths of its astronauts. Thecol continues to have major operations in the state, at Magna and Promontory, and its current headquarters at Brigham City. As of 2005 the company employed over 15,000 people worldwide and records annual sales of around 840 million US dollars. Company history. 1926, two chemists, Joseph C. Patrick and Nathan Mnuchin, were trying to invent an inexpensive antifreeze. In the course of an experiment involving ethylene dichloride and sodium polysulfide, they created a gum whose outstanding characteristic was a terrible odor. The substance clogged a sink in the laboratory, and none of the solvents used to remove it were successful. Then the frustrated chemists realized that the resistance of the material to any kind of solvent was a useful property. They had invented a synthetic rubber, which they christened Thecol. 1945, Charles Bartley, working for the nascent Jet Propulsion Laboratory, discovers the use of Thecol as a stabilizer in solid fuel rockets. 1949, Thecol produced the TX-18 Falcon missile, the world's first solid-fueled missile system. 1957, in anticipation of the forthcoming Minuteman contract, the company builds its plant at Brigham City, Utah. 1957, Thecol Huntsville builds XM-33 Polux missile. 1958, merger with Reaction Motors Incorporated, makers of liquid propellant rocket motor systems. 1958. Thecol awarded contract to build the Tu-122 rocket motor for the first stage of the LGM-30 Minuteman ICBM system. 1959, Thecol Huntsville produces caster strap-on booster rocket, used on the Atlas rocket. 1964, Woodbine, Georgia plant is constructed to build solid propellant motors for NASA, but the agency changes course and uses liquid fuel. 1969, Thecol awarded U.S. Army contract to manufacture 750,000 trip flares for use in the Vietnam War. 1971, explosion in magnesium flare assembly facility at Woodbine plant kills 29 and injures 50. 1974, Thecol wins the contract to build the solid rocket booster for the Space Shuttle. 1975, Thecol succeeds Sperry Rand as operator of the large Louisiana Army ammunition plant near Minden, Louisiana. 1978, the company sells its ski lift division to CTEC and its snow equipment division to Logan Manufacturing Company, owned by John DeLorean. 1980, acquires Carlisle Chemical Company of Cincinnati, Ohio. 1982, Thecol merges with Morton Norwich Products. The merged company is called Morton Thecol Incorporated. 1986, an O-ring fault in an MTISRB destroys Space Shuttle Challenger in flight. The company is found at fault for the destruction of Challenger and deaths of the astronauts. 1989, Morton Thecol splits, with most of the chemical concern going with Morton. The Propulsion Systems Division becomes Thecol Incorporated. 1998. Thecol changes named Accordant Technologies, 1998, Thecol branded polymer products purchased by Polyspec LP, a Houston-based manufacturer of industrial coatings, marine decking, and subsea insulation products. 2000, Thecol merges with two divisions of Alco and with Homet Castings and Huck Fasteners to become AIC Group. 
2001, Alliant Tech Systems Inc. spent $2.9 billion buying Thecol and related businesses from AIC Alco. ATK built the third stage of the Trident missile and had earlier bought Hercules Aerospace Company, builder of the second stage. With the purchase of Thecol, who make the missile's first stage, ATK controls the lion's share of the U.S. solid rocket fuel market. 2005, Thecol wins the contract to produce the Ares I launch vehicle first stage for NASA's Project Constellation. 2006, Alliant Tech Systems Inc. renamed ATK Thecol to ATK Launch Systems Group. 2014, Orbital ATK is formed. It was formed from the merger of Orbital Sciences Corporation and parts of Alliant Tech Systems. Products Products made by the aerospace divisions of RMI and Thiegel include motors used in Subrock, the Pershing missile, the Peacekeeper missile, Poseidon missile, Minuteman missile, and the Trident I and Trident II missiles. Thiegel produces power plants for numerous U.S. military missile systems, including AIM-9 Sidewinder. AGM-88 Harm, AGM-65 Maverick, AGM-69 SRAM, and AIR-2 Genie. Thiecol also produced a variety of liquid and solid rocket motors for the U.S. space program, including deorbit motors for the Mercury and Gemini programs, rocket stages and separation rocket motors for the Apollo program, motors for the Pioneer, Surveyor, Viking, Voyager, and Magellan missions updated caster boosters for the Delta rocket, and the Space Shuttle solid rocket booster. Reaction motors power plants propelled the X-1 and X-15 aircraft, and later Thiecol technologies were also used in the private Tier 1 man spaceplane. On March 1, 2006, NASA announced that Thiecol will be the prime contractor for the new crew launch vehicle, to be known as the Ares I, which will put the Orion spacecraft into low Earth orbit along with the five-segment SRBs for the heavy-lift cargo launch vehicle, known as the Ares V. In addition to ski lifts, Thiecol produced a range of equipment for ski resorts including snowcats and snow grooming vehicles. These businesses were spun off in 1978 when the company restructured itself to concentrate on its rocket products and related technologies. John Z. DeLorean purchased the Thiecol Snowcat operation and renamed it DMC. DMC continued to manufacture snowcats until 1988, when the company was renamed LMC. LMC continued making snowcats for 12 more years but ceased operations in 2000. Thiecol produced snow vehicles with a wide range of capabilities and duties. The company also produced several utility-based vehicles based on their snowcat tracked vehicle, in addition to larger snow grooming machines suitable for use on steep ski slopes. Thiecol machines were used in ski resorts, operated by the USAF in Alaska and other northern regions, and are now popular with private owners as dependable snowcats and for all-terrain transport. Thiecol pioneered the short-burn rocket motors used in aircraft ejection seats. The company also produced a number of the earliest practical airbag systems, building the high-speed sodium acid exothermic gas generators used to inflate the bags. Thiecol bags were first used in U.S. military aircraft, before being adapted to space exploration and automotive airbags. Thiecol's generators form the core of more than 60% of airbags sold worldwide. See also, Antarctic Snow Cruiser, Logan Machine Company, Snowcat, Snow Coach, Snowcat, Snow Grooming, Bombardier Recreational Products. References External links ATK Launch Systems Group Homepage, History of Reaction Motors Incorporated. History of Thiecol, Photographs of Thiecol Snowcat and Snow Grooming Equipment.